Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome in to the Hoop Hogs video mailbag. I'm Curtis Wilkerson with Inside Arkansas and the Pot at the Palace going through our daily Q&A about Arkansas basketball as we gear up to the start of year one of the Coach Calipari era at Arkansas. Uh, we've had a lot of really, really good questions. We've worked our way through a bunch of them on Twitter, and now we've kind of made our way into the YouTube comments to see what people come up with. Today's question comes from Chris Fortner. He says, Curtis, who will be Arkansas's biggest three-point threat, and will there be multiple um well they they definitely needed to be multiple and i think there will be but in terms of who their biggest three-point threat is i mean i think it's got to be nelly davis right i think a lot of people saw on twitter uh, andy katz put out his top 16 or whatever three-point shooters in the country and, and john l davis came in uh, at the top 10 on that list i think he was at number seven and he is a proven commodity from three i'm looking at his stats right now uh, nearly a 37% uh, three-point shooter for his career. He's made 132 career threes. Last year was his best year by far at Florida Atlantic. I was making about two per game. So the volume is there, 58 makes, uh, and he shot at 41.4% from three. And I don't think it's a fluke with him. He can really, really let it rip from three. Uh, I want to show you guys this video, and you can kind of see the release is effortless, it's consistent, it's fluid. I think he's going to be a big-time three-point threat for Arkansas. Not too shabby, right? I mean, sign me up for that. Uh, looks good, but the other part of your question, it's a valid one. Uh, will there be multiple three-point threats? And I, I really think there will. Uh, in terms of like who the next best guy is or the one that I might trust in the most, uh, crazy enough, it, it, I think it might be Boogie Fland, an incoming freshman. And you never know how it's going to translate for a, a true frosh and, until you see it. Uh, but man, he's got all the tools. And we talk about a, a fluid... Uh, effortless, repeatable shot form like Nelly has. Uh, I think Boogie Flan has that too. Got a short clip for him as well. That way you guys can check it out. So there you go. Give me that all day. I think in the backcourt uh, between Boogie Flan and Nelly Davis, you're going to have some really solid uh, consistent three-point shooting. Those guys are going to be threats. They're going to have to be respected. There's going to be no sagging off of Arkansas when those two dudes are on the floor together. Um, outside of that, who are your best options? Uh, interestingly enough, I would probably go to a couple big men, uh, Trevin Brazil and Big Z. And I know it's kind of crazy because we all heard Coach Cal at the end of summer at his press conference, and he said, hey, I'm not really letting those guys shoot threes. I want them to get comfortable being uncomfortable, and we're trying to make them attack dogs, get to the rim, uh, shoot mid-range, whatever. Uh, and all that is good, and practice is the time to do that. But if you don't think Big Z and Trevin Brazil are going to be shooting threes, uh, you're crazy. They are. We know that Trevin Brazil can really shoot it. You just don't want him to be fully dependent on that. Uh, but is he going to be able to stretch the floor uh, and, and really provide some pop at, from three as a, as a stretch forward at that spot. Yeah, I, I think he is. He's done it throughout the course of his entire career. I don't think that this season is going to be any different. Uh, Big Z is a guy where uh, the jury's still out a little bit on how consistent he can be out there uh, because he only played half a season at Kentucky. But, boy, it looks good. And, and I think I don't know if he'll be able to make as much volume uh, maybe not quite as high of a percentage as Brazil, but he's going to be right there in the thick of things. And they're going to let him shoot it. So when you have a couple bigs in your front court that can space the floor as well, uh, you know, alongside a couple guards who can give you more volume, that's actually it, it's it's pretty good. I'm coming around to the idea of Arkansas being able to knock down some threes. Uh, there are some other guys where the jury's out, and depending on development, uh, this could go from being probably an average ish three point shooting team to one that could be really, really good. Uh, DJ Wagner stands out to me in the backcourt. You know, he made about a three per game as a freshman at Kentucky, uh, but he only shot at about 28%. And he's never been, you know, a knockdown 
40% sniper out there from three. Uh, but I think there's room for him to grow into, you know, above 30%, maybe push that 32, 33% range. Uh, and you can really work with that if you have other guys, especially surrounding him, uh, who can really fill it up. So we'll see about him. Uh, Carter Knox is another incoming freshman who I look at uh, and I watch him shoot it. Uh, and I see a lot of potential in that three point jumper of his. Uh, but the thing is, at overtime elite in high school, he was taking a ton. It was a, he was a volume shooter, a lot of contested stuff, a lot of off the dribble stuff. Uh, and he shot it under 30 percent. Now, that shot selection is probably going to improve at Arkansas. Does that mean the percentage goes along with it? Um, I'm optimistic. I think it can. Jury's out. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, a dude, the arrow is another one who, you listen, he's only made 10 threes over the course of his career. So you look at him, I think he's about a 32% shooter over, over two seasons. You think, ah, well, that's okay. Not bad. Could be better. Hasn't been much volume there. And I know that that's something he's really worked hard on because, quite honestly, that's the one thing that's really holding him back from being a bona fide NBA draft prospect. Uh, you can see, I think, and I'm going to show you this clip. You'll see Boogie shoot the three again. But then you'll see Thierro take one. Um strikes me as a guy who could really, you know, probably find a, a good rhythm as a catch and shoot. Um, not so sure about the the transition threes or the off the dribble stuff like we saw there. Um, but it looks like he's got some potential to make some improvement. Let's take a look at it. So there you have it, kind of a kind of an interesting release. Um, but if he can get that repeatable, uh, get his feet set, you know, and and, and step into a three like that, um, I don't think he's going to be one of Arkansas's top three point shooters. But again, uh, do you have to respect him? Because it's the thing with some of these guys, um, especially Thero. He's so athletic, uh, so big for his size and his position. Uh, if, if teams are able to back off of him and just say, hey, you're not getting to the rim on me, dude, uh, that takes away from what he's able to do and impacts your spacing. Uh, but if he's at least a good enough three point shooter to where you have to close out, uh, you have to get a hand up. You got to be out there just in case it does change the dynamic for Arkansas a lot. So really feeling good about Nelly and Boogie. I think they've got good floor spacers in the front court with Trevin Brazil and Big Z. Uh, and we'll see about the other guys. Like I said, I think that'll be the difference in Arkansas being really good shooting a three uh, or probably just middle of the package this season. But uh, hopefully it's an uptick from what we saw <laughs> under Eric Musselman. Right. So, hey, uh, appreciate the question as always. And you guys know how to find me by now. Uh, go look on Twitter at Kurt Wilkerson underscore. You'll see on my profile at the very top pin thread, the Hoop Hogs video mailbag. You can throw your questions, comments in there. We'll get to them. Uh, I'm going through the YouTube comments now. So if you watch these videos and you say, hey, I'm going I'm to throw a question in here, I'll eventually find them. And, and now I'm proving that because I know some of you probably sent questions a, a few weeks ago. And you're thinking, is this dude ever going to get to me? Yeah, I am. I got you. Don't worry about it. Uh, but keep them coming. Appreciate everybody for the engagement and interaction. Make sure you get subscribed to our YouTube channel at Inside Arkansas. I'm going to get out of here, but I'll be back tomorrow. We'll post another one of these at 8 a.m. It's been Curtis Wilkerson with the Pot at the Palace. Everybody have a good day.